So I've got this American 1100. This was sent to me a while back from a guy over in the States. And I've picked this a few times, but I've never actually picked it on camera. So we're gonna see if we can get it on camera today. That's a bit in on the key. I do struggle with these. I've seen you pickers over in the States open these in seconds, but not me. I still struggle with these type of locks. And it's because I'm a little bit heavy handed when I'm picking locks. And I know you've got to be quite delicate with these. So let's see if we can actually get the open on camera. I'll probably go quiet while I'm picking this one. It is one of them locks that I've just not mastered. Like I say, how oh, some people can pick these in seconds. I just don't know. You know what's in there? You've got loads of little serrated pins and some spools. You've just got to nibble away at it. That's how I don't understand how people can get them so quick. But I mean no race. I just want to get the open on camera. I'm not bothered if it takes me five minutes. There's not many of these in the UK, these American 1100s. I think there's a few filtering about now, just due to, obviously, over the last few years, people trading locks with one another. So easy to get my words out. So easy to overset the pins on these as well. And like I say, if you like me, you're a bit heavy-handed. They can be tricky locks to pick. I'm still chipping away at it. Hopefully we'll get the open in a bit. Got a little bit of movement then. We get it. So yeah, at last I eventually pick open the 1100 on camera. Like I say, these are tricky locks. Some people can pick them open in seconds, but I struggle with them. But I've managed to get it open. So that's it for today. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Try a bit.